Hello everybody, my name is Steffen Moritz. I'm from the Institute of Data Science of TH Cologne and today I'll be talking about visualization of missing data and mutations in time series. As many of you probably know, missing data is nearly everywhere. And that's also true for time series. Especially in sensor data, uh, missing data is quite common. The reasons are usually manifold. Problems with data recording, problems with data transmission, or problems with the data processing. The MQTS package tries to help you there. It features three different kind of functions. First are the imputation functions. These are functions for replacing the missing values with reasonable values. Then there's visualization functions. And then there's stats and data sets. These are functions for printing missing data stats and a benchmark data sets for comparing imputation algorithms. Actually, we have new visualizations in the 3.1 version of the package, which we'll be talking shortly about. The um, package is currently ready on GitHub and soon will be on CRAM. Once you uh, have a new data set, what you want to do is getting an overview over your data. Maybe you have already realized, well, there are some missing values and now you want to investigate further about the distribution of these missing values. So what you're doing is you use the ggplot na distribution function to get a first good impression. Where are my missing values? How are they distributed in the time series? And what can I maybe do there? As you can see in this plot, areas with missing values are highlighted in red and you can perfectly see where they are located in the series. This gives you a nice first overview and once you're done with this, you can even dig deeper into the missing data patterns, for example, with the ggplot and a gap size function, which basically um, gives you a ranking of the occurrence of gap sizes. With gap sizes, we mean NAs in a row. So there could be two NAs in a row, there can be five NAs in a row. And if you have certain patterns which seem quite unlikely, for example, if your whole data set has always six NAs in a row and no other gap lengths, then there might be something strange going on and you might want to investigate further. These um, plots with uh, additional information about the patterns can be quite useful and um, there are also other plots than this NA gap size function to do this. And once you're done with um, doing your first analysis, you might want to explore your imputation results. Maybe, like here, you use the NA underscore Kalman function, which is quite an advanced imputation function. It's in Kalman smoothing and state space models. And now you have your results, P and M. And now you want to have a look how good they are actually. So you use the ggplot NA imputations functions, which gives you, as you can see in this plot, a nice overview um, how your imputed values fit into the time series. And as you can see here, this one fits quite good. Could already be a good solution, actually. This was a short overview over three important plots. And there's more plots to the package, which we can't show today. But um, what I'll show you is um, the package itself is easy to use. The output is basically a ggplot object, which can be, of course, customized in the ggplot two way. As you can see, you have the gap size plot, and then you make plus cmlegend.position equals none, and um, the default legend would disappear. And you can do all kind of ggplot two magic and adapt the plot to your needs there. But actually, as we know, not everybody is a ggplot two professional. And we have also made the most important um, parameters available as quick adjustments. So you can also say a legend equals false. And that would also give you the same result as a cheesy plot. And this, you can do this for the maybe top five uh, most important arguments um, which you need for plot adjustments. So it should be also quite easy to use for not ggplot2 pros. And 
Well, that's it. Feel free to contact me if you have questions or suggestions. And also, to, of course, take a look at the um, GitHub repo. And I guess there's a lot to explore and maybe a lot of useful you could use. And thanks a lot for your attention.